How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, we are going to be kind of kind of starting, but also discussing the zero overall rebuild. So if you guys want to see this, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe down below. Make sure you follow all of my social media links that are also down below, especially my Twitter. So you guys can interact with me. You guys have video ideas. You guys have, you know, baseball discussions you want to talk about. Go ahead. Go tweet me. I'm always, you know, you know, I, I usually respond to every single one of you guys. So if you guys, you know, just want to tweet me some random stuff, go ahead and do it. So let's get let's get talking about this because I've seen guys on Madden do it like Bengal, who I talked to a decent amount. I've seen guys on, you know, NBA 2K do this. Um, I think people on FIFA have done this, but it's a zero overall rebuild. You guys have actually commented it a couple of times and a lot more recently as we end the near of the rest of the like normal rebuilds that we do. So down below in the pinned comment, I had, you know, I have a, I have a poll and the poll is for you guys to decide, do you guys want this to just be a one video rebuild or do you want it to be more of a series? So you have two options here. And I say a series where it's like episode one, two, three, et cetera, et cetera, because I'm thinking in an MLB season, there's 162 games. So it's a really long season. Um, we wouldn't in the series we wouldn't play every single game we'd sim month by month or however you guys want to do it um but that would allow us to see the progression of how everything's going um and we could actually kind of come up with you know see how prospects develop see how other players develop and stuff like that whereas in one rebuild i'm literally gonna have to probably go through at least 10 seasons before we get anywhere close to the postseason rely all on prospects and it'll probably just be bare bones you know here's the team this is any moves that we made here's the draft and then here's the end of the season season two here's the team these are the moves that we may be made draft next season so on and so forth so it would be very bare bones to show you guys you know how quickly i could make it to the postseason how quickly i could win a world series so in a franchise we could actually get a little bit more depth about it um so let me know what you guys think so this is just an example i probably won't go with the tigers in the end i really am just looking for a team that has a really you know one of the top five draft picks in the first season because the first season is where we're going to be able to you know pick up you know six prospects that are probably going to be our best players um in season two so what i would do is i would take very low rated players from free agency which is what i've done i've taken all the tigers moved them through free agency and picked up a lot of the low rated players and i would go into rosters off camera of course um and then have everybody go down to a zero overall so off camera i would take everybody's stats and take them to zero overall so with that like everybody would be a zero um and the one stat i'm thinking about leaving at a decent rating is potential just because if we leave it at zero there's going to be no growth in the team at all and if we leave it at 70 potential it'll at least allow us to have some growth and we can actually somewhat build a team but um, and if we did that if I took every single stat down to zero except for potential it leaves it at a one overall player so we would have a team full of one overall players which is basically zero. Like, I know you guys be like, oh, you're not really rebuilding a zero overall team. You really rebuilt a one overall team. But the stat is potential and that doesn't really help a player at all, you know, until they actually grow. So every single stat would be zero and you guys would see, like I would show you every single player is zero overall, or it would actually be one overall since their potential is a little bit higher. And we would develop each player we would try to make a team really good and um that's my whole thought process you know about what we would do so i'm gonna i'm basically just doing this now so you guys could see that it would be like a zero or a one overall player and um now that we've done it you guys will see he's one overall like that's that's the that's what we're getting here just one overall that's it so that's that my other ideas are do we limit you know what kind of players we can trade for do we limit what kind of players we can sign in free agency do we limit you know the amount of acquisitions we can make throughout a season and that's where you guys come in because i want you guys 
to be involved in this video because this was your idea this is an idea that i saw from other youtubers as well in other games and i want this i want this to be a video that you guys are really gonna enjoy so we've talked about how every single player is going to be one overall or zero overall um, really the only stat will probably be about a 70 potential so the big thing about this is going to be draft picks um, and building on prospects the issue with that is we only get six picks a year we can't trade for picks we can't trade for compensation we can't trade for anything like that so we're limited to the six picks that we get every single year in the draft that's not even enough to field a full team so we're you know we're <laughs> we may end up getting a 43 overall second round pick who's going to be our best player in the second season so we're going to have to build on prospects we're going to have to draft very well and that's why i'm kind of thinking do you guys want to set some guidelines where we're allowed to maybe sign a certain overall the first season and then a certain overall the second season and a certain overall the third season um, in free agency just so that we can slowly build up this team more and more um, obviously I wouldn't go and sign 20 you know 70 rated players but maybe limit the amount of free agents we can sign a year limit the amount of trades we can do for a year and if we do make trades what's the highest overall I can trade for and that's when you guys are gonna come in so along with the pinned comment down below where you are gonna vote for a one video rebuild or a um, a franchise series in the comment section below I want you guys to leave some guidelines leave some ideas leave some rules to set for myself for this rebuild so that it's just not a oh hey there's this 80 overall free agent I should go sign him or when the offseason comes Bryce Harper is a free agent I should definitely sign him so I want to make this a difficult rebuild but I also want it to be a rebuild where it's attainable to actually make a postseason it's attainable to actually make the World Series so those guidelines from you guys will definitely help set some you know kind of lead me in a, in a way that i can actually have some sort of idea of where i want to go with this rebuild because i'm kind of lost because we have a farm system you know we have the mlb triple a double a single a but if everyone's a one overall it doesn't really matter who we have you know it's it's going to take a very long time to build this team up and that's why i was kind of like what do i do you know i don't just want to go in free agency and sign the best players i don't just want to try to make trades and um exploit the trade system that mlb has so that's i want to limit you know maybe maybe the first season we can only sign players after the draft and we can only sign a player or trade for a player that is the same over like the same overall as our highest draft pick maybe something like that so let me know what you guys think let me know what you guys want to see from this rebuild um in my personal opinion i think the franchise series idea is a little bit better because it allows us to um have a little bit more in-depth look at everything that goes on in this rebuild and maybe we would take it month by month so each season would be what once we get past you know spring training each each season would be one two three four five six you know six five six episodes you know so that way it keeps the season moving and you guys can see everything that goes on each episode maybe 10 to 15 minutes so it's not as long as a full rebuild but it's a decent long episode and that's that's why i'm kind of leaning towards the franchise so you guys could see some of the players that i'm scouting you know you guys could see you know some of the players that are actually in the team even though most everybody's gonna be one overall you guys can maybe come up with some storylines or you guys can you know be like oh this guy actually did really good for you and at the same time i also can maybe play a game just to show you guys how bad this team is going to be so let me know what you guys think let me know what you guys want me to do for this rebuild i know i've been kind of blabbering on if you guys have any questions again you guys can tweet me twitter's down below you guys can ask in the comment section what what i said and if you didn't understand it you know can i clarify on that um just because i didn't really have any structure on how i wanted to approach this video all i wanted to do is bring some ideas to you guys ask you guys some questions and just just kind of figure out what you guys want to see for this zero overall rebuild so i think that's it i think i've covered everything that i wanted to talk about i think i've covered everything that i wanted to ask you guys like i said i want all these rebuilds to be what you guys want to see and i know we still have a couple mlb teams to actually finish 
um, and then actually I want to bring some more challenges as well so this is the big challenge that I wanted to start with and um, that's why I kind of wanted to bring it up because if we do go towards the series route then it'll actually have more consistent uploads for rebuild so that's it guys I think that's it I don't want to blabber on too much more I don't want to drag this video on any longer than it needs to be so I'll catch you all in the next video again make sure you go and vote in the comment section below there's that straw poll in the pinned tweet or not pinned tweet pinned comment um, so that you guys can vote for what type of video you guys want to see and then obviously leave me some guidelines some rules some restrictions in the comment section below so that's it guys i'll catch you all in the next video peace